today I'll be creating a jar file um, from a JavaFX project. Um, so this project is open right now. Um, so first you go to File and you go to Project Structure and then you hit um, Artifacts and then you hit the plus sign and then you go down to JavaFX Application and you hit for Module Camera Streaming. Um, so you get the screen pop up, but I just want to go back and explain um, why you wouldn't hit empty because right here in modules you have a pre-existing module that is created every time IntelliJ creates a project so you want to load it from this module or you have to create a brand new one um, so going back to this um, what you can see on the right all of these are library dependencies um, so right now they're not included in the jar file so um, if they're not included and you hit apply and you build what's going to happen is you'll have to include them manually so when you hit the jar file it will give you an error because it will look for those libraries but they won't be there um, so to fix that problem all you have to do is hit the plus sign and hit extracted directory and then locate your libraries um, and then select all of them and then hit OK and so right now as you can see that all the libraries are extracted into the jar so we won't have to worry about um, the jar not find like the, your main program not finding these libraries um, so one more thing you have to do if you're creating a JavaFX application you have to go here and then you have to specify um, your main class so we only have one main class so that's the only option shown and then you hit apply um, and basically that's it um, so you hit OK and then you have to hit build and then you have to build your artifacts um, so it's important to note right now only the production folder is shown here but after we build an artifact folder will also be shown here so let's hit build so you know what I'm talking about so it's building right now And it is taking some time because of all the libraries that we included. Okay, so now we're done. Um, so now, as you can see, a new folder appeared called Artifacts. And if you go down into the directory, you can see um, these are three new um, files that were created. Um, so this is actually the, the file we want. Um, so if you go here, you can go to this is the main um, project directory. So you go to out, you go to artifacts, camera streaming, and you can see the executable jar file. But in my particular case for this project, um, one of my libraries um, relied on um, two um, DLL files. Um, so you actually had to include that in the same directory so that um, it will, when it searches a class path, it will know that it's, it will know that where it's located. Um, so, so you select all three of these resources, um, copy, go to out, artifacts, camera streaming, you paste it in here, and then you hit the executable jar file, and disappears. So um, this app icon, this is the app, app icon it's using, um, so if you hit exit, you can see, you can open those photos. See, this is the image it's using. So make sure you, any any images you had, make sure to pull in the same directory or it won't work. It just won't find the image. Um, and also if you have any um, supporting DLL files for your libraries, as, in, as I have in my case. Um, so one more thing is, if you don't want to always go to the directory and run this, you can actually run this directly um, in IntelliJ itself. Um, so here, um, you can hit Edit Configurations. And right now, this is the main config configuration. So this can build, and it's building to this directory and all the other good stuff. So um, you can hit Add, and then you can hit Jar Application. So this will actually run your jar for you. So first, you have to specify the path to the jar. So you go to camera streaming, out, artifacts, and
and you select this jar file. And so without even leaving the IntelliJ um, IDE, you can actually run the jar. Um, and so before you launch, you obviously um, want to build. So you hit build artifacts and you say, okay. And then you hit apply. Um, and so what this does is every time you change the code or slightly alter it, it will build it automatically. Um, and so the artifact or the jar will be automatically updated. So you don't have to hit build, build artifacts every single time you want to change the jar file. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So I'll show you how it works. Um, so right now, um, let's see. Let's go to the main. Um, and so right now, if we run this, this is um, the jar file configuration. If you hit run, it should pull up this window. And here it says EV3 control panel. Um, and so right now, let's um, see if it changes automatically. And then you hit run again. It's taking some time to run. See now it says EV3 control um, before it says EV3 remote control. Um, so in this way, um, by if you go back to the configuration, a configuration, if you add if you add this build artifact, it will automatically build the artifact every time you run. Um, so if you don't want to create this new um, jar application, you can just like, if you want to keep on running it from here, but you also want it to build every single time, you can um, come here and then you can hit the plus sign um, and then you can hit build artifacts and hit build artifact. And so then every time it will build and then also push the changes to the jar file. So when you run the jar file, jar file from here, all the changes you created will also run and it will be pushed to the jar file. So um, that's it. Um, I hope this, got, this video was helpful to you guys. Um, it took me a long time to actually figure out how to do this because there's very poor documentation for JavaFX files and how to um, like package all the libraries into one jar file. Um, so thank you, and um, if you have any um, questions, if something doesn't work for you, just comment down below. Thanks.